What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. Go check out our website with all of our cool stuff going on over there. We got a rad forum. We got all sorts of news information. I'm going to even be putting up my buy page back up and uh, selling some Technetics and uh, Fisher detectors on my website there. So you need anything Fisher Technetics, you know where to go. TheHunterGT.com. So what do we got going on today? Well here we have a First Texas plethora of detectors here seven different detectors five different types of coils we got the 11 dd the 5 by 10 concentric the 8 inch concentric the 5 by 10 dd and the 5 inch dd over there we have different combinations we're going to be throwing on all of these and running a couple tests in this video and a uh, follow-up video as well so maybe i'm going to make this a three-parter perhaps and it's going to be tons of testing here there are a couple videos on YouTube where a $12, $13, $1400 dollars detector from France, uh, we'll just leave it at that, you can figure that out, do some Googling, that expensive detector from France that has trouble uh, with a few tests, and some of these detectors with certain coil combinations pass it with ease. And uh, there's also another detector from uh, Turkey. It's a very fast named detector, and it just came out. It's about $750. It's a great detector. I'm not talking ill on any other companies, any other detectors, but I'm just showing you that uh, sometimes you can spend much less and still get some great performance if you're talking about a certain test scenario. Okay, guys, here is the test. We have two nails raised up on two books here with a silver dime right in the middle of those nails there. You can see that silver dime right there. You can see the two rusty nails. Uh, this nail's a pretty fat, uh, rusty one, and this one's just a little bit longer. I couldn't find two perfect nails. I got a couple galvanized ones right here that we'll be using in some upcoming tests. And uh, I've noticed they don't really, it doesn't change the test at all. I've tested with galvanized and with rusty nails. But anyways, two rusty nails right there. Um, and a dime just to show no BS anything like that a one and a half inches right there you can see these books are one and a half inches above the dime and I'm gonna have the huntress uh, come move the dime in and out real quick that way nobody's gonna say oh you had a quarter underneath the book or there was something underneath that that uh, two by six hunter for sure or it's a pipe in the ground no no, we are doing this legit. Everything on this test is A-OK, -okay, like all my videos. So I tell it like it is, uh, whether it's good or bad. So here we go with the raised nails, one and a half inches, pretty good height above the dime. Okay guys, T2 Classic, 5x10 coil. We're gonna start off with at sensitivity 60, disc is up to 30 to knock nails out. Look at that, no nails, nothing underneath the books, anything like that. I got some silver dimes right there. You can hear them, I got two galvanized nails. You can see nothing, I'm trying to tighten it in there, nothing there, so listen, nothing there underneath the book. The Huntress is gonna go and put that dime back. Go ahead Huntress, slide it right in there. There is the silver dime. Yep, get it flat. There we go. Silver dime right in there. 5 by 10 coil. Let's hear it. Two plus tones. Nothing. Oh, I knocked that nail over. If you could please retrieve that. Nothing with that slow sweep. There we go. So it's off and on. When we're getting... If I wiggle... It doesn't really like the wiggle method too much. It actually likes... Uh, a full, fast, confident sweep, actually. As you can hear, it's not 100%. It's picking up every once in a while. Very hard test. With this test, I noticed with the raised coil or the raised nails, extremely hard test here for a 5x10 coil. Let's move up to an 11 inch and see what happens. Alright guys, T2 Classic. Same settings here, 11 inch DD coil. There we go, nothing on the nails now. Little grunty pop every once in a while. Go ahead and put that dime in there, Huntress. There it is, silver dime right in the middle. Listen to that. Fast swing. Oh, getting crazy with my coil. There my coil this side is, there we go. Nice and fast swing. And really loud if you keep your swing normal, like a normal person. And it misses it every once in a while. 
but for the most part that's a pretty loud signal I would dig that at a relic site uh, definitely two plus tones absolutely dig that at a relic site all right four hundred ninety nine dollar detector here guys doing what a detector uh, twice its price struggles at quite a bit here so yeah it's coils different coils different soils uh, so but yeah it bears noting that you don't have to spend a ton of money here next detector okay guys Fisher F7, go ahead and remove that uh, dime there, babe. Fisher F70, 5 by 10 concentric coil. Um, not a big relic machine. It does do well in relic sites, uh, but it's definitely geared as a coin shooter. So, nothing but a little pop on the nails. All right, go ahead and put that dime back in. And we're going to show you something about concentric coils here for the most part. See? Does not like this test. And I told you I, I show things as it is on this channel, uh, win or fail. Now, the reason I'm showing this fail here, it's not a problem for me. It doesn't bother me. It's a concentric coil, number one, 5 by 10 Number two, I'm going to show you where this really excels on a lateral test where a lot of other coils fail and a lot of other machines fail. This thing eats it alive on that long nail test. So don't want to make this video too long. Keep an eye out for this F70 with this coil on the next video coming up where we do the long nail test and then you're really going to be amazed. A lot of you park hunters and stuff that want to find jewelry and coins in a park without nails or with trash that's on the same plane, same level, boy, you're going to love that portion. So next detector coming up. Technetics Delta 4000. Here it is. So, got it. No nails. Nails are dissed out. Go ahead, put that dime back. 8 inch concentric coil. A little bit of EMI, we're indoors. So, 8 inch concentric coil, like the concentric coil on the F70, a professional grade detector, that F70. Um, you know, very nice detector. Fails this test with concentric. And just like that, this one fails the test as well. But like that, wait on this Delta 4000. It will blow your mind for the money on the next video where we're going to do the nail long ways next to a dime. I would say it beats a $1,200, a $750, a $1,000 detector from uh, other countries. You know, Turkey, uh, France, and uh, Australia. We won't name any names there, but you guys can go ahead and Google and... Uh, those detectors that fail that, you know, they may pass this test, but they'll fail the next test. And then this detector, so like I said, guys, no perfect detectors out there. Not really uh, throwing shots across the bow or anything. But, you know, I feel like uh, when certain videos are made and uh, showing how a detector does one thing well or two, three things well, then uh, i got to show certain detectors that only cost two, three hundred dollars can do it too. So keep an eye out for that in the next video. Okay guys, Delta 4000 again, just failed with the 8 inch concentric coil, have the 11 inch DD now. So let's see how the DD does in a raise test. No dime right now. Nails are gone. Go ahead and put that dime in there. Here we go. So I lift the coil, it's starting to get a grunt. But if I lower it and get it pretty close there, loud and clear. Listen to that. All right, 11 inch DD on the LAN Ranger Pro, one of my favorite detectors of all time. In my opinion, one of the most underrated detectors in the entire world. For $280, this thing is just amazing. So here we go. No nails, as you can see. Pick up the dimes. No nails. All right, no nails. Go ahead, put that dime down. See what we get. Look at that. Let's speed it up. I can get it to false if I just really go stupid crazy like some uh, people like to swing their detectors. Uh, Nice and slow, no problem. 
nice swing speed that I would normally swing, which is just about like this. This is about how I cover ground right here. Look at that. Dig that all day. Land Ranger Pro 11 inch DD and no trouble with this test. Okay guys, moving on to the next detector. I'm not going to do the 8 inch on the Land Ranger Pro. Um, no need to. It's, it won't pass this test. 5x10 coil with the F19. Um, let's see what it does here. So no nails. We're back to the DDs. No nails. A little pop here and there. Go ahead with the dime. Push it in just a little more further so it's right in between the nails there. Right there. Look at that. Night and day difference. I mean, picks it up no problem. That VCO tone, you dig that all day at a relic site. Would you dig that coin with your detector? You betcha. You betcha. So there it is, guys. No problem with the F19 right there. Let's move on to the next detector. F19 5 inch DD coil off a gold bug. Here we go. Nothing on the nails. Go ahead and put that dime in there. And here we go. No problem. Misses uh, every once in a while. It will actually miss. Let's speed it up. Real good. Slow. No problem. Alright guys, that was the 5 inch off the F19. It really loves this test and uh, even the flat lateral test. Uh, this is by far the best performing detector out of the bunch that passes both tests. This and the T2 uh, really good detectors. So let's move on to the next detector. I want to say it's the final one, the Eurotech Pro. Okay guys, 8 inch concentric coil. Concentric coil has not worked well on this test yet. Eurotech Pro, known for being great in iron, great separation, recovery speed, unmasking, $220. Will the 8 inch coil work? There we go, no nails. Go ahead and put the dime in. And nothing, unfortunately. So, what does that teach us? Well, Concentric coils hate this test. They absolutely can't stand it. All right, so let's try a DD on this and see what happens. Okay, here we go with the 5x10 coil on the Eurotech Pro. So off the F19. So here we go. Nothing on the nails. Little grunt here and there. Go ahead, pop that dime in there. And here we go. There we go, right in the middle of the coil. It will grunt if I move it to the tip. Oh, overload signal. But in the middle of the coil, nice and, oh, pick that nail up, baby. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's getting frustrated with me. I keep knocking them over. There, it's going VCO. So the ID is not perfect. It's bumping it around to the VCO and then into the high pitch range, but it's there. Okay, so here's where things get interesting. We saw with the F19 that the 5x10 hit it and the gold bug coil hit it quite well, but not necessarily any better. And with the Eurotech Pro here, with the gold bug coil, yeah, the gold bug coil 19 kilohertz and this is a 7.7, .7, so it's not a true, uh, you know, the, the 5 kilohertz version off the uh, F5 or the 7.7 .7 off the F5 might be a little better, but no nails. A little grunt there. Here we go. No nails. Go ahead and pop that dime in there. You would expect, since the DD coil on this just now hit it, that this would too. But look at that. It is hitting it, but it's putting it in, in, in the iron tone. Because what you have to do with this, if I disc this all the way up to 40, it will not hit it because it, it, it'll it just disc out it. It'll just disc it out. What it's doing is lowering the ID on the dime so far into the iron range that I only am just up to about 25 right now to get rid of the nails and the dime is actually landing right there 
at 28.30 roughly. So if I was just all the way out to 40 where iron, all iron's gone, I wouldn't hear it at all. So technically is it hitting it? No, I wouldn't dig that. I don't dig iron tones usually like that. I'm not much of a relic guy anyway, so I would probably just pass on this dime and say, oh well. Um, a lot of guys do just disc right out to where nails are gone, and they will dig the iron tone like this is giving you still. A lot of guys be like, oh, I dig it just because it's right above the iron tone. I've seen guys with uh, the high dollar machines say that, well, if you just go right to where nails go out, you dig everything else and just take your chances. Um, a lot of guys hunt that way, so a lot of guys would dig this signal. I probably wouldn't. Um, that's just my preference. That's the last coil, the last detector. That is the Eurotech Pro there. We are done with this test. So what do we learn from this test? Um, what's the big final conclusion? Well, concentric coils hate it. They hate raised nails above a non-ferrous target. Um, the Eurotech Pro 8 inch, even the F70, a great detector. Um, everybody, you know, nobody talks bad about the F70, a great detector. Nobody talks bad about any of these detectors. These are all tried and proven detectors, great for the price. But the concentric coil, no matter the configuration, no matter the machine, it just wasn't touching it. Um, Eurotech Pro, the Delta 4000, even the more expensive F70, not touching it. What happens when we went over to the DDs? Well, the Delta 4000 hit it. Land Ranger Pro, a $280 detector. Delta, $280 detector. No problem hitting this test with the large coils. Um, move down to the five inch coil on the F19. It hits it no problem. Five by 10, no problem. It doesn't accept concentric, so we couldn't test it there. Uh, T2, no problem with the large coil. Uh, even with the five by 10, it hit it pretty loud and clear. So going smaller on this test doesn't necessarily, because it's since this is an unmasking separation, I mean, it's not a true unmasking. The nails are off to the side, so let's be clear there. It's not a true unmask. The nails are not right above the dime. They are off to the side, so it's more of a elevated separation test here or and recovery speed test here. Um, so concentrics hate it. Let's just get out of the way. Concentrics hate it. Tune in tomorrow for the next video or the day after, 24, 48 hours. Um, the next video, like I said, is going to be the dime and the nail side by side like that. And this is where we will look at concentric coils and how they shine and how some DDs may have trouble with this as well. And there are, like in this test, in this test right here that we did with the elevated, some $280 detectors. The Land Ranger Pro comes with an 11 inch DD. It was hitting this test much louder than that $750 detector from Turkey, that $1,400 detector from France, and some of those $1,500, $2,000 detectors from Australia. I'm not naming any names. You hardcore detectorists know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, for, I mean, $280 Land Ranger Pro is hitting stuff that detectors four or five times its price. That's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, fifteen hundred dollars, three hundred, and the Land Ranger Pro is not even three hundred. It's two eighty. So real easy math here, guys. Real easy math. Um, so yeah, Eurotech Pro was hitting it with the five by ten coil that's available. So that's a two hundred and twenty dollar detector here. The Eurotech Pro. $220, if you go get a 5x10 coil for it, that is like, what, 130 bucks, 140 bucks, it's passing this test. So you're looking at like under 400 here. Three detectors just passed this test. The Delta, the Eurotech Pro, and the Land Ranger Pro under $400. The T2 is under $500 at $499, right under, and it hit it with uh, its stock 11-inch coil, no problem. F19 smoked this test, $699 for the F19. So, you know, sometimes a lot of people say you get what you pay for, and in this case you do. You get what you pay for plus a lot more with some of these detectors. So, I don't know. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love those $1,500, $2,000 detectors from those other guys. They're great detectors. I'm not talking bad, but when you're making videos showing how that detector will struggle, 
it may not be the best video for you to be showing off because these detectors here that cost under three, four, five hundred are passing it in certain configurations, no problem. Spend your money wisely, guys. Know where you are hunting. Know where you are hunting. If you are having coins, if you're digging a lot of trash, but you suspect, okay, I have found a deep four, five inch, six, seven inch coin, a deep seven, eight inch coin, but I get a lot of nails at four, five inches, you're gonna want a DD coil so you can get that stuff. We just saw why, elevated. If the coins are underneath the trash, DD coil. Concentric wasn't working real good right there. Not always, certain detectors do a little better with the concentric. Like I said, no detectors perfect, no coils perfect. Now, when we're on an elevated plane like this, where everything's on a non-elevated plane, non-elevated, where everything's on a level plane field, that's where it's really gonna shine those concentric coils. The DDs do quite well with it as well. Certain detectors, certain don't. We will hit all three of these detectors again, or all seven of these detectors, seven detectors, five coils in the next video. I'm gonna cut it short right here. Don't wanna babble on too long. You know me, guys, I love this stuff. The Hunter GT, signing off. I will see you on the next video.